very special ASMR gaming video. And I say very special because tonight's video is a three hour long geogesser video. Now, for those who don't know what geogesser is, it is an online geography based game that is free to play and you can play it with the link in the description down below. In fact, I've actually played it several times on the channel before, so be sure to check them out after if you want to see more GeoGuessr videos. And it is a game in which you get put somewhere random on Google Street View and you've got to try and click about, work out where you are, and guess on the map within the given time frame without Googling. That's the main thing, you cannot Google. So I'm using street signs, language, what the culture kind of looks like, the environment, maybe just whatever you can pick up from it as a clue. And in tonight's video, I thought I would do a super long geoguesser video as well. They tend to do quite well on the channel and it is such a fun game with way too many game modes for me to pick. And so I'm going to be doing lots of different modes and features on GeoGuessr in tonight's video, playing different specific countries and maps, some online multiplayer battle royales and some streaks, so stay tuned for a jam-packed, relaxing ASMR video, and of course there will be little timestamps down below so you can maybe skip to a particular game if you wish. Um, but if you do enjoy tonight's video, I'd really appreciate it if you considered giving it a big thumbs up. Because as you can imagine, this took a very, very long time to make. And uh, in fact, you might see my t-shirt, the background, change throughout because I recorded it at different times. But all in all, it's all one video and I hope you all do enjoy. So subscribe if you're new and want to see more like this. And without further ado, let's get in do some geogesser. Alrighty, so here we are, about to go into our first game of the video, our first little segment. And uh, I thought to do get things going for those who maybe have never played the game before or never seen it being played before. We would just do a little bit of basic single player on the entire world so we could get absolutely anywhere in the world um, as long as there's street view. Uh, also, I hope you all like my little guy. <laughs> I designed him to look as close as I could to what I look like. Uh, also, it is raining outside, I should probably mention, so if you hear any rain, maybe that adds to the atmosphere. But let's jump into some single player and we are going to play on some of the classic maps in particular the world map so we could get anywhere you can see my best score is 24,089 but I did that in 23 minutes and 25 seconds oh gosh <laughs> uh, we're gonna set a little bit of a, a time limit Two minutes, yeah, two minutes sounds good because I don't want to spend too long on each game. So, two minutes and we're allowed to move about. So here we go, game number one. Let's hope we can get a good score. So, as an example round for you all, we are put somewhere in what I would assume is America. I'm not amazing at this game, so I may make some mistakes. Or things that you might notice in the comments that I don't notice, in which case I'm very, very sorry. Um, bus stop. It's English speaking, so it looks, looks like it could be America. We've got these kind of American posts. Um, it could always be Canada, though. But let's try and pick up some facts, I believe. That's an American, or that we've got an American flag in the window. 
So it feels quite Southern America. You know, it looks very dry. The road's a bit cracked here and there, and looks like it's had a bit of work done to it. So I'm thinking, you know, off the bat, maybe something like Texas or Arizona, but really not too sure. Let's keep on going down a little bit. See if we can find like a big main road or something obvious that says like you are in Texas. <laughs> that would be very good. Flowers by Joseph. I don't know. Never heard of it. Um, we have a nice church there, maybe somewhere quite religious. Is that a Mexican place? I don't know. Maybe Italian. Um, I'm not ruling out city of Kenosha, Washington Park. I don't know where Kenosha is. I doubt I can find it quick enough. But at the moment, I'm thinking about here. Sadly, I don't know where Kenosha is. I saw something about Washington, but... Oh, man, that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. So, in my awful example round, as you can see, we were very, very far away in America. We were actually up near Milwaukee and Chicago. That's unfortunate. Complete opposite end of the states. Almost 1,000 miles away. And we actually get some points based on how well we did, so... Only 1,797 out of a total of 5,000 there. But America's one of the harder rounds for me personally. I'm not from America. I don't really know much about it. So we'll move on to the next one. And see if we can get something a bit better here. Okay, so we have a little bit of a combination of English and what I thought was Japanese. I think it is Japanese. Uh, oh, dot T W. Would that be Taiwan? Um, I think this is Taiwan, actually. Uh, I saw uh, a big sign here that I wanted to look at. Mingsheng Road. Do do do, and the number seventeen. Do they do things like that? I know they do in Japan. They do those kinds of blue triangles. I would assume in Taiwan they maybe do as well. Yeah, they do. So what was it? 17 and 13 red. I doubt I'm going to find them just by scanning. I mean, there's 18. Could be safe just to go near this city. Oh, 17. I found 17. What was the name of the city or road? Mingshen Road. Mm. Is there like a Mingshen place that I'm missing? That's like really obvious. No, but can we can, can we find the thirteen or the do do do? I mean, the seventeen does go all the way here. I feel like. Going in Tainan City. Oh wait, didn't that say Tainan? Over there. Tainan, it did. So maybe we're in this place called Tainan. Let's go like there. This could be quite good. Oh my goodness. Well, we make up from a terrible, terrible round with a very, very good round in Tainan City. Just two points below the maximum amount of points we could have. So, going from terrible to <coughs> six, six, seven yards away, that's pretty good if you ask me. Was the two, two, two there? I, I can't see it. Unless it's like really small. I don't see it. So, I will happily take that. And we'll move on to the next round, which is in English again. Um, is this America again? Snow Park. Um, oh, city of Oakland. 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 Is that not... Um, 
I being an idiot are so close. Is Oakland not in California? Or is Oakland in Ohio? I always always get mixed up where Oakland is. Where's Oakland? I'm probably being such an idiot and you're all probably screaming at me. Oakland, Oakland, Oakland. I could have sworn. in California and I'm very sorry I just can't see it damn it um, city of Oakland that is frustrating I mean it looks like we could be in the sort of right region of America I think I'm not very good, not very good at American rounds. Uh, let me look one more time. Oakland. Oakland. Is it in Ohio? I also had one weird feeling it was in Ohio, but maybe not. This is going to kill me when I find out. Okay, it was. It was San Francisco. I thought it was. I thought it was. Um... Damn it, I should have checked into San Francisco. At least I knew it was in California. I just got the wrong end. Very sorry. I should have known Oakland is like um uh is is like uh the Golden State Warriors. So I should have known Oakland, San Francisco. My bad, I didn't be I didn't picture that together. I just thought it was California. Dang, okay, I'm a bit annoyed about that one, but and I'll take it on to the next one which looks crazy 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 um, no idea where this could be so we're actually gonna have to be very environmental uh, here geography style so the Sun is in the north which means we're in the southern hemisphere so anywhere below the equator, this dotted line here, so like Australia, the south of Africa, or potentially South America, looking at the, it could even, man, I was thinking Africa at first, but looking at the types of buildings, it could be South America, if there was a person back here, they've just disappeared, there they are, they just walk away. <laughs> No, please come back. I need to know what country you are in. He's hiding. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on film. Uh, let's go up this hill a little bit before we make our guess. I'm definitely rolling out kind of um, this side of the world. I'm thinking here. It could potentially be um, like South Africa or something like that. Or maybe Botswana. I think it is Africa. Oh, what did that say? No, that's just a door. Mm, there's like no signage or anything. Or Right, there are a few mountains. I'm going to go kind of in this area. But I feel like... Yeah, I'm going to go like there. Probably not a very good guess, but only time will tell. I mean, it was Lesotho, but, but I'll take it. I will actually happily take that. That seemed like a very tricky round at first, and I think I did. Not bad. So, I will take that. 3,900 points, pretty much. We'll go on to the last round here, as we are sitting on a score of 14,000, which is not awful, to be honest. Not awful. Um... Let's head down this road, see if we can take a look at these trucks. We got some language, no smoking, so it's English. Oh, don't tell me this is America again. Oh no, it's world for a reason. Give me more countries. I mean, the signs don't really look American though. Maybe it's not. Hang on. Oglesby. Is this like 
New Zealand or something. What does that say? See, that looks like an American sign, and this looks like an American road. We have a Bojangles. Yeah, it's, it's America. It's got to be. It's got to be. Got to be. Actually, the sun is in the south, so yeah. Why did I say New Zealand? I don't know. Uh, we have a Walmart. Uh, elite Therapy Centers. Raymond James. No clue what state or even what side of America this is going to be. I on purposely didn't want to do any American games tonight because I didn't want to embarrass myself. I'm feeling it's not far from New York. So I'm going to go kind of up this side. I'm not really going to specifically click anywhere, but I'm just going to click up in this region and see how close it is. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I mean, we were 791 miles away in, is that, yeah, South Carolina. But not awful. Not awful. It gives us a final score of 16,200. Not a great start from me. I do apologize. But regardless, I have three American rounds. You know, there's not much I can do about that. I hope you all did enjoy this first game of the video. Hopefully we can get into some more interesting games as we go. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next little game. Alrighty, so this next one that we're doing, I'm going to be doing some gum chewing whilst we play, and it is called A Community World, so it's kind of similar to World, except this time it is a world map with 100,000 hand-picked locations put together by over a hundred experienced players and map makers from the GeoGuessr community. So it's specifically picked for people to play GeoGuessr. It's not just random street view images. Um, and it says that there should be no blurry images, photospheres, or black screens, which is optimal. And we're going to try and beat our score that we got in the, the first game, which was like, was it 16,000, I believe. So we'll find out if a community world is harder than just the normal world. So let's go play. Uh, gonna do the, the usual settings, two minutes, and let's start. Okay, oh my goodness. Interesting first round, we are by the coast, wherever this is. Uh, a few things to note. We have some flags up here. I think that's Russia. That's Israel. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what that actually is, a specific country flag. But I think this is Israeli. Uh, what is this animal? Looking structure. So, 
let's just guess. That's a pretty good guess if you ask me. 4,900 points. A great start. Great start just three and a half miles away. On to the next one, which has another flag. No, this could be lots of different flags. I think I see yellow, blue, and red, which would be. See if I can get a better view. Is it Colombia or Ecuador, maybe? But it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how it's done it. But either way, we're in the mountains with the sun to our north. I wish I had a better view of that flag. Is there some language up here? If we can find out if it's Spanish. if you ask me but if I'm just going off that flag you know I'm thinking Colombia in the mountains somewhere but I don't know if that's just throwing me off I hope it's not like the Bhutan flag or something crazy I'll put it this way the sun is kind of in level with us Whereas for Colombia, it kind of does. You know, we could be like here or something like that. Yeah, I quite like this. Let's make our guess. It actually was. Are you kidding me? I ask, I ask, I ask. I think 
a green number plate. I used to know what that meant, but I don't play as much anymore. I used to play Geogasser a lot. And then when they added a bunch of new things, that's when I kind of stopped playing, even though it actually got better. I prefer watching other people play it because I am d -d 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 terrible. But at the moment, I'm only really thinking Bangladesh. Uh, by the type of language. Um, let's take a look. Perhaps, let's maybe go down here. Okay, it was Bangladesh. Do you know what? Like, I'm almost perfectly in line with it. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Just the wrong sort of, not altitude, but Northness, if that's a word. Like the latitude and the longitude. My latitude or whatever is perfect, but my longitude is terrible. 4,500, I'll take it. On to the final round. Can I go down this little side road and see what that says over there? Guess not. Right, I'm gonna go down the hill. I feel like that's better than going up. It's very hot, wherever this is. Very hot, very dry. Sun in the south. Potentially like Europe then, maybe. We are driving on the right. Oh, so we have some Greek place names. So we're in Greece. No. Whereabouts in Greece? Descati. 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 I mean, I don't really know where that would be, so... I am just gonna make a guess, though. It's quite hilly. So I feel like... Uh, where am I going? It's quite hilly. So where would, I mean, this hill's kind of all the way up here, but I doubt we can see Descati, can we? No, there's a couple places beginning with the letter D, but I'm thinking kind of, you know, here-ish, maybe in a little bit, like there. Yeah. Okay, again, not all considering it could have been like all the way up here. So 4,700. Let's take a look at our results. We beat our score in this one. We got 19,100. A lot more diverse, no American roads, which I'm very happy with. Um, again, I'm gutted about that Bhutan one. We got one point on it. Imagine I had gone Bhutan, we probably would would have got around 4,000-ish points. So we'd definitely be, you know, in the the 23,000s maybe, um, which would have been very good. So anyways, yeah, some pretty good rounds there. Very happy with the Israel one as well. So I think I prefer a community world to the normal world map. But that's a couple of more uh, serious maps. Let's go into something a bit more funny and uh, different, shall we say. Alrighty, everybody. This next map that we are going to play is sure going to be a little bit of fun. And hopefully, fingers crossed, not make me embarrass myself. There's a pretty high chance it probably will. And yes, before we point out the obvious, I have changed t-shirts. It is a different day that I'm recording this, a different recording session, so let's move past it. But uh, the map we're going to play here is called the Dome Test. And I think it's kind of said in the title, it basically just tests how dumb I am. So I have a feeling it's probably going to be some pretty obvious locations. In fact, you know, it says it's very easy 
the average score is 21,000. I've played this before, but I don't remember when, so I don't remember any of the locations. Let's just hope I can get a very good score, and oh boy, we'll jump right into this. I don't think I'm going to set a time limit. We're just going to go, and uh, hopefully we know all the locations, and I don't make a fool of myself. Here we go. Round number one. Okay, we are, well, we're in America. Uh, specifically, we are in Santa Monica. So Santa Monica Bay, I think. Obviously the ocean off to the, well, in this, uh, this particular road, uh, the ocean is kind of off to the, as you would expect, the west. So we should be able to do this without moving. Um, and I believe that's kind of just the dock that goes down there. So Santa Monica is in uh, LA, I believe. Santa Monica, there it is. And is that the pier right there? I believe so. In which case, where does that put us? Ocean Avenue, I think we're like there. Um, what's this? I'm trying to do it without moving. I think this is it, because I think this is Ocean Avenue meeting with Colorado, which was right there. That should be it. Yep, give us a nice 5k. Lovely, six yards away. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see what the next one is going to be. Okay, it is the I am, I, I will, I Amsterdam sign in, let me guess, Berlin. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Clearly, uh, Amsterdam. Never been to Amsterdam, would absolutely love to go. Um, I don't remember specifically where in Amsterdam it is, but we'll have a little look for it, see if we can find it. Gonna see if we can do this without moving again, so it's next to some sort of museum, so we can find that. I'm sure we'll find the sign. I love how people just like sit up on it, that's so cool. I really want to go, to be a nice photo to take. So let's go into Amsterdam and see if we can find any museums. We have Tropen Museum. Oh, it could be next to this. Maybe, I don't really know. Oh, well, there is some water right there. So the water is kind of to the east of the museum. So if that's the museum, it's probably not that one. Could it be over here? Uh, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Um, I'm going to click right here for the now. It's probably not. Nemo Science Museum. I have a feeling it's not there. I think it's like down here, probably. Um, I think it's one of these two places. I think it's either there or over here, but I'm not sure which one, but I think if we kind of just go in between, we'll be safe. I'll do one last check, see if there's any obvious things. What's this building again? I I forget. I'm really sorry. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll cheat and I'll go and see. What is the name of this museum? Let's just put us right back over here. So, I guess well, this body of water is just a little, little bit. So it's probably not either of them. Actually, now that I look at it, it's probably more like. Is there anything over here? I'm very sorry, uh, people that live in Amsterdam. Oh, it's it's got to be here. It's got to be here, right? That is like literally that. 
I'm gonna go like there and we will submit. I'm very sorry I can't find it specifically, but regardless, we're gonna get lots of points. Uh, okay, it was actually over at the Van Gogh Museum, of course it was. So I was kind of, you know, in the wrong side. I was looking here initially, and of course it's all the way over here. Next to the Rijks Museum as well. There it is there, and that's the cafe and the museum. I actually can't see it on the map, interestingly enough. Right. Let's go on to the next location. Hopefully that's the only uh, points we really drop as we are put straight in next to the Arc de Triomphe. I was actually there in January of this year, so absolutely beautiful. It's quite a, a clear day. Don't do many cars in this picture. And the note, we are next Avenue Friedland. Interesting. It sounds kind of German. So we'll go into Paris. Arc de Triomphe. It popped out there for a second. There it is. And Avenue Friedland. Over here. So we'll be over here, but just to double check. Avenue Fried is over there. So that's kind of on our other side, so we're like here, I believe. Uh, oh, wow, I, I put us a lot further away. I'm such an idiot, of course, we're on the inner side. My bad, everyone. Why did I put us over there? Um, luckily, I got away with it and still got 5k. On to the next location. Yo, bro, what? <laughs> Man's on a, what do you call those electric scooter things? Um, regardless, though, we are in the Vatican, by the looks of things, it's the Vatican flag. Um, but obviously, I've, I've never been to the Vatican. Well, I say obviously, I've never been to the Vatican, so I can't really tell you specifically where um, it is uh, in the Vatican City. So... Let's see, this road is kind of like an exactly east to west going road. So maybe it's just like a road going in there, like that. Um, I don't think it's in the Vatican. If it was, it's, you know, something like that. But I don't see anything much ahead. It's quite blurry. So I'm just going to go there. Probably wrong, but... <laughs> surprised myself, but yeah, eight yards. That was a nice guess. And for our fifth round here, it looks like the only amount of points we're going to drop was on that Amster Amsterdam round, so again, really sorry about that, uh, because we're right next to the Colosseum in this one here, another Italian uh, round. So let's go in to Rome and Colosseo, as they will call it, of course. Now, I'm not too sure exactly on the path where we are. So the Colosseum's on our east, and we're kind of on a path going straight. So I think we're maybe like here. Yeah, nice. And that is us completed. The dumb test. <laughs> we finished with a score of 24,983. It's a shame I couldn't get that Amsterdam one. But I guess I didn't fail and I didn't embarrass myself. So, all good. Let's go on to what's next in the video. So, before we jump into... Uh, any more, you know, big things. I want to do some country streaks and some online things in this video, so do stay tuned for them. But before we do that, I do want to do one particular map. I know we've done some uh, good maps so far, in with the world ones and that little fun dumb test. But there is a very specific map that 
do want to play and hopefully it's going to be something that I should be average at uh, being from that country and that is the United Kingdom map uh, you know I am from the UK uh, specifically Scotland so I should be okay at this map here uh, my best score seems to be 24,000 but I did that in a whopping 35 minutes we're not going to spend that long per go at least so we'll give this another bash and I'll set a time limit of like 2 minutes 30 because the reason I do a little bit longer is you know sometimes especially in the UK you can get like roads that are just never ending forests and things, so dirt paths and whatnot. But anyway, so let's jump into it. Hopefully we get some big cities and places we know. Straight off the bat, there is a place I know, Inverness, that is in Scotland. I'll point you in the direction just so you know. It is kind of up the very top. So if Inverness is this way, which is kind of like northeastern on the, well, well, there's a little horse, I didn't notice that, on the B870, so the B roads in the UK are quite small, it's these uh, little white ones, the B870, that's going to be one of like these things here then, isn't it, so it's not really going to be the easiest thing to find, so the best thing for me to do is probably look for Glen Gawley and Scott Scalder. Which I haven't heard of, but we can find if we orient ourselves. So they are going to be west of Inverness. Uh, Scott Scalder and Glen Colley, was it? See, you never know how far they're going to be. I don't, I need to go that far out. Mm. Do, do, do. For the time being, with Inverness up there, I think I will just click right here. I will keep looking, but we'll go there for the time being. So, let's go here. We have, okay, Inverness on the A9, sorry. A9, I didn't notice that. I might have missed that. Okay. So there's the A9, of course. Um, I still can't see these place names. I'm really sorry if you see them and I can't. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Could probably get a much higher score if I had more time. But I'm just kind of rushing things. Kind of going up from birth, seeing if I can see the place names, but I don't. So that should do. And what? Oh my god, Inverness was south, wasn't it? Why did I think it was north? Why did I put it as north from my location? Okay, I had like a little mind blip right there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was south. And I thought I I had I oriented it as south for some reason. Or was it? I I gotta open that location again. I gotta have a look. That's messing with my head. Inverness is that way. Yeah. Saying it's north. That's really odd. I have no clue why it's done that then. messed up. Right, let's go into the next round. See where we are here. Okay, I feel like because that fan's going this way, it's probably a good idea if I do as well. This one actually kind of looks like Scotland as well, but um, we'll keep on going for a bit just to confirm. Cause it, you know, being in the UK, you could get Scotland Wales or Northern Ireland, so uh, I think we can kind of rule out Wales. 
thousand uh, in Northern Ireland at the moment because usually you would see some Welsh or Irish by now, perhaps maybe less so in Northern Ireland, but specifically you'd see some Welsh uh, pretty quick in an area like this. Uh, do, 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 do. The buildings are kind of looking very Scottish though. Um, I just need like a big hint, like another city name, but I mean that didn't seem to pay off last game, did it, or that last round I should say. Uh, let's keep going down here, yeah, oh this is so Scottish, it's unreal. Uh, I'm trying to look in the distance, it's like a wee village almost. Uh, I'll keep going around the corner, or minute and a half into our time already we're eating it up so I gotta find a clue soon what does this say plow lane exclusively for that's say adults I don't know what that said but here we go we are at a main road what does this say okay CERN Jester on the M4 so it's not Scotland. I don't actually know where Siren Jester is or Siren Jester or however to pronounce that, but the M4 Malmesbury. I don't have much time. The M4 is down south, I believe, is it not? M4, M4. I don't drive M4. There it is. Uh, let's kind of just stay about there and that should be okay yeah wasn't too great ah uh, there it is there it is okay so i could have done a bit better but sir jester unfortunately we're not doing too great on this one not gonna lie but we'll see if we can improve on to the next round uh well we actually have Another good location here. I think we want to go down here. It's funny how on the last round I was sat there saying, This is so Scottish, this is so Scottish, and it ends up being South England. Well, seems I'm not very great at this one, but we have a bus stop here. Three miles something. University is that or no us Ulster bus I've heard of that I've heard of that but that kind of looks like the Northern Northern Ireland flag with the UK flag inside it or like a really weird version of the flag but we're seeing the flags everywhere I'm thinking maybe this is Northern Ireland then maybe this is Northern Ireland um, all schools kind of just look the same Ulster bus drum ho drum ho no clue no clue what we got up here, another big road. DPD, what are you saying? Which way should I go, DPD van? This way, okay, if you say so. Again, I need to make sure I give myself some time to look, though, because I didn't really do that last round. Thank you for driving carefully, you're welcome. Alright, I'm gonna go for Northern Ireland, and I'm gonna go not too far from Londonderry. I'm gonna go maybe Dungiven, and we'll send it. Okay, so it was Londonderry. I guess that was good that I went slightly closer to it, because I was tempted to go near Belfast. 
because I had a feeling it was near one of the big cities because of our starting point. Uh, 14 miles away, 4,000 points. Not too shabby. Let's go on to round four. Okay, we need to be quick to identify things here. Thorn Grove. Which way? I never know which way is best to go from the start. I'm going to go this way. Wait, I should probably look at the back of these kinds of fans and things. Okay, I should probably also maybe look at like bins. If there's bins out again. Okay, that bus stop kind of looks like the one that was in... Oh, Scotland, well it says Scotland, so... I was going to say it looks like the one that was in Northern Ireland, but... Yeah, no, that's a Scottish bus stop. Okay, so if we can find a place name, Aberdeen City Council. Okay, so we're more than likely in Aberdeen. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, Robert Gordon University. I've heard of that. I've heard of that. So Aberdeen, Robert Gordon University. Where is it though? I've heard of it. Robert Gordon University, there it is. Okay, so on the A92 or A93, headed south, A93, there it is, probably like round there. Where did we start? We started in this little sort of off road. Um, trying to find the road name, might be further down towards the end, as they usually are. Okay, it's called Thor, oh, Thorn Grove. That was it, right? Thorn Grove. Morningside. Thorn Grove is what we're looking for. We have 30 seconds to try and find it. Don't know if I will. It might be on the screen, in which case I'm very sorry. Thorn Grove, Thorn Grove, <gasps> Thorn Grove Avenue. Yes. And we were kind of down the end. Next to Thorn Grove Crescent, right there. That's going to be a 5k. Unless it's the one down. <gasps> it's the one down from there. <sighs> oh, I threw right at the end. Right at the end, I threw. I could have got a 5k if I'd realised it clicked onto the next one. Oh, dang it, I should have noticed that we weren't beside a park. And I should have just clicked that one there. That is disappointing, but it's a lot of points, so we'll take that. If we get places like that, see, it's manageable. I don't know what happened with that Inverness one. So, we'll go on to round 5. And hopefully we can have a repeat. This looks weirdly familiar. Tell me this is Edinburgh. Ash Hill Place. Can't say I've heard of that, to be honest. Webster's. Uh, do you know what? I wouldn't rule out this being... Oh my Again, I mean, is, is this fair? Now we're near University of Aberdeen, which is north. Is this fair if we just get the same place again? University of Aberdeen is north on the... Well, they don't kind of say what road this is. This is Westburn Drive. Where's University of Aberdeen? Westburn Drive. Let's just click before we forget. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. Alright, I need to find something more obvious. Like, a, is there a Westburn? Like, can we see Westburn? Oh, there it is, Westburn Drive. Okay, so we found that. Let's go back to where we started. What 
what's the name of this road? This is Rose Hill. I saw that. Rose Hill Drive. And Rose Hill Drive, when you head down, I mean, what's this road in here? We could probably find it. Something Crescent. Karen Cry. Karen Cree. Crescent. Karen Cree Crescent. Let's just double check what's on the other side. Oh, we, we've done this in perfect time though. A field crescent. Okay, that's got to be right. That's got to be right. <laughs> got to be a 5k here. If not, yeah, I would have been mind blown. But a double Aberdeen round. Very interesting. I mean, that's good because this is. I'm Scottish. Two Aberdeen rounds, an Inverness round. Which was disappointing. A South England round, which I just couldn't find in time. And a pretty good uh, Northern Ireland round. So we'll take that as our final results of 17,800 again. I could definitely get a higher score with more time, but we will take that for the time being. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. Maybe I should do Scotland. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I found one. <laughs> I found an Edinburgh map, and so I thought, you know, we kind of have to do it now that we've just done that. So, I know I said we'd do something else after, but, you know, I, I gotta do it. We, we gotta do it. It's where I live, man. It's gonna be so fun. So, I'm not putting a time limit on. We're just gonna move about, and I mean, I pretty much will know every location, so... Let's get started. Okay, first up, we are in the Sheraton uh, Spa, which I think, I don't know where it is, I think it's, if I go, oh I can't go that way, I guess I'll go into the car park. I'm just gonna see where it lets me go. <laughs> okay, so it lets me come out here. So this is the west end that leads onto Lothian Road, which is here. So the Sheridan Spa is gonna be there. Again, I'm not gonna find the specific location. You know, that's good enough for me. Moving on to the next round. Oh, I know where this is. This is next to the Jenner's Depository. I mean, I say that is right there. Uh, and through this tunnel over here uh, leads you up to an area called Slateford. There's like a little skate park. Oh, I can't go far enough, but there's like a skate park over there um, next to Sockton. Uh, okay, so. Is Slateford, Sogden. There's the the skate park. Um, so the Scott Mid Co op is right there. Nice. On to the next round. Where is this? Oh, Rabbleston. It's a really nice area, Rabbleston. Um, specifically in Ravelston, are we? I'm trying to get the name of this road. Oh, that's just the numbers of houses. Great. Ravelston is... Is it not? Here, somewhere. I thought Ravelston was over here. Maybe I'm making that up. Mm, Ravelston, Ravelston, Ravelston. Oh, I could swear it's over here. I could swear it's over here. There it is, Ravelston. Ravelston. I was in the right area. Uh, I'm gonna click here and then we're gonna. 
gonna find what road. Oh, I know this road, I know this road. This road's been blocked off for ages though. So you actually can't go down it at the moment. Um, what road is this? Strachan Road. I can sound more Scottish. Strachan Road. There it is. Again, I'm just gonna go there. Should be good. Nice, nice, nice. And again, we're not spending too much time on this. Round four. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, we can get out of here. It looked like some sort of university flats, but can't say I'm too sure I know where this is. Okay, no, I can say I'm sure. This road here. What is it called again? I forget the name of it. If I find the name of it, I could probably find it. Because I know roughly where it is. Well, what's the name of this bus stop? <laughs> uh, okay, Minto Street. That'll be one of these little side streets. Because I've not heard of that. So, streaks is a feature 
in which you are trying to guess the correct thing, place, location as many times as you can in a row successively without making a mistake. So there is country streaks, US state streaks, and community streaks. Now I'm going to be doing country streaks because it's my favorite one. And essentially what you have to try and do is guess the correct country that you're in um, as many times as you can in a row. My record, as you can see, is 25. Who knows if we're going to beat that. So we're going to give it a bit of a go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do okay. And yeah, let's go into some country streaks. Okay, so I'm going to set a, a two-minute time limit moving allowed at just the default settings. You know, I don't want to spend too much time on each go. I feel like if I had loads of time, it would be a lot easier. I want to set myself some sort of challenge. Um, but who knows, probably not going to beat our record. <laughs> but we'll see how we get on as we start off in what looks to be like a little town, maybe a city. Uh, and I believe this is just the United Kingdom. Yeah. In fact, where is this specifically? It low-key looks like Edinburgh, but I've not heard of St. Vincent Street. So it's kind of uh, funny. I'm trying to see where this is. I'm curious. I mean, obviously we can just submit and find out. But I'm really interested to find out where this is. It's definitely, definitely, definitely the UK, though. Like, I can tell you that for sure. Um, no, I think this is somewhere in England. Um, I'll just, I'll tell you what, I'll just go UK. Let's find out. Where was it? It was Glasgow, so that's why it kind of looked familiar. Um, I'm not actually in Glasgow all too often. You know, I've only probably been about five or six times, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, pretty good. Let's move on to the second round. Oh, we have a flag. Gonna get a better view of it, but it looks to me like it's just red on the top, white on the bottom, which is, I believe, is it not Indonesia? I think it might be Indonesia, but gonna try and get another better view of it. We could just jump to conclusions. There's a little bit of weird blue tinge. That could just be camera work. I'm not too sure. But the colors here, red, white, blue, yellow. Don't know what that specifically means. From far away, definitely the Indonesia flag. All works out with the sun being in the north as well. So let's just send it. And it was Indonesia next round. Okay, so we're in another sort of city here. We have, well, a lot of people about making sure I don't miss any flags. Sometimes they, they like to stick a little flag right at the start, like that kind of looks like the Colombia flag. And we have yellow plates, and I believe in Colombia, you can see the flag there. Yellow, blue, and white, uh, yellow, blue, and red, sorry. They like to, well they don't like to, they have yellow plates. So right now I'm thinking Colombia, I will try and get a little bit more info though. Looks Spanish, so yeah. Don't see, oh, dot Colombia. Let's not waste more time, let's just go for it. I mean, we're only on a streak of two, so if we made a mistake there it wouldn't have been too much of a disappointment, but things are going great. We are on a streak of three. Columbia, 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 Columbia. Let me know in the comments where are you from, by the way. Hopefully with this country streak, we can maybe get your country as we go into round four. Just looking very different from the previous rounds we've had. Seems like we're in the hills somewhere. We have this looking sign here. I'm thinking this could be 
is something like Switzerland. Switzerland has what they call low camera footage. And it's been a while since I've played it, so I can't really tell if this is low cam or not. I have a feeling it might be. With the kind of hills that we have, it definitely feels like we could be somewhere like Switzerland. Wish I could just ask that guy there. <laughs> Keep on going down the hill a little bit. Um, yeah, these hills definitely give me sort of Swiss vibes. Let's see, we got a little sign here. Uh, oops, no, where did the sign go? Let me want to look at you, sign. Please stay. If I click, it kind of just jumps and goes all blurry. And I can't read it from there. Oh, we can read that, though. Okay. It kind of looks like a little bit. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, definitely Switzerland. Post auto extends. It could... See, it could be Austria as well. Could be Austria. I'm going to go with my gut instinct from the very start, which was Switzerland. Hoping it's not Austria or Liechtenstein. Okay, if you, <laughs> it was, it was Switzerland, so up to a streak of four. Let's go on to the next one. <coughs> okay, so right off the bat, we have a sign. Nordstrom, and is this just like Norway, perhaps? I know in Norway you get these kind of orangey, red uh, houses with like the wood. It's also pretty snowy could be Finland, uh, but I believe in Norway they do these yellow signs. Let's go a little bit further. Ah, I should know what these dotted lines mean on the sides of the road, but I forget. I forget what country that means. I thought it meant Switzerland, uh, Sweden, sorry, but I'm probably just plucking that out of thin air. Right, I'm going to go around the corner a little bit, and if there's not much, I'm going to go back to the starting point, because that was pretty good. Especially considering as it's not letting me click very far. <laughs> uh, let's see, is there much over there? No. Let's go back to the start. Head down here a little bit. We're right beside some water as well. This could be, like, very north in whichever Scandinavian country this is. I love it when you click forward and it just puts you backwards. Like, what is this all about? I don't know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I might just have to take a stab in the dark at this and hope that it's Norway. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm really sorry if it's not. Oh, it was. Thank goodness. And it was very north, like I predicted. Alright, good stuff. Let's go into the next one. So, oh, that looks like it has a website domain on it, but if I try to click closer, it disappears. Wait, we have a flag. Is that the Denmark flag? I can, I can kind of see. Oh no, it's at such an awkward angle. I think it is Denmark. You can kind of see the white cross on the red background which would lead it to be Denmark. Um, yeah, language looks Danish. Um, I don't know much about the Danish geogazer strategies and meta and stuff, so let's go over here a bit more. Apologies about the slow clicking. It's a really bad location. They seem to have given me Langa with this little A with the dot on top. That's very Danish. Let's see if I can find like an example. They like their AEs and the A with the, or the, the O with the line through it and the A with the dot on top. There's that A example there. I don't think Norway does that or Sweden, but it's, it's not Sweden, so it's gonna be Denmark. 
Let's send it. Good job. Good job, Dido. That flag was just really tripping me though, wasn't it? <laughs> On to the next one though. Let's take a little look around. I think that way probably looks better, but we'll see what this sign looks like. Interesting, interesting, okay. I got some mountains. Sun is southern. It's feeling European, perhaps, with this round. Um, if I can go down the road. We've had a lot of rounds where <laughs> GeoGuessers tried to make it difficult for us to click. Wow, so this is very mountainous, this place. Very beautiful view out there to our right. I'm thinking, perhaps like, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought that was like, uh, no it is, there is a sign there. What does this sign say? Um, uh, Carlone, is that like Spanish, eh, not Spanish, Italian. That looks kind of like a Spanish flag though in there, doesn't it? Ah, I need more clues, I need more clues. A tin, okay, that looks more like Italian. I don't know Italian though, so I cannot be too sure. Could it be like Albania or something? It's definitely something around Italy. I'm gonna click Italy for now. That's what my heart is telling me, but these stupid geoguessor rounds are not letting me click on the road. There we go. I've just been unlucky with the uh, locations. Okay, there's one last sign that I'm gonna look at here. I gotta just go Italy. Okay, it was. It was just outside Naples. I say just outside, but a bit far from Naples. Uh, you can see kind of why I thought it was Albania. They're kind of like the same sort of longitude or altitude, whatever one it is. Latitude, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know my Italian so well. I definitely need to brush up on that a little bit. I do apologize. Um, let's go into the next round. I kind of wish I could put in some bigger cities rather than little locations like these. Look at these guys. They've noticed the camera. So we have some fans about. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Edgar Famos por Mas Alcade. That looks like the Bolivia flag. Kind of. Red, yellow, green. Kind of. I don't know if you can make that out, guys, but kind of looks like the Bolivia flag. I'm not too good at Bolivia uh, when it comes to GeoGuessr. All I know really is Spanish is the language. Um, let's go this way. See, a website domain would be very useful right now. Um, what is that flag? Is that surely got to be just a store flag? It's not like any of these countries, is it? It's not like Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba. Just got to be sure. Don't know my flags. Amazingly, I know my flags look okay. Um, but I don't recognize that one, you see. So I had to just be sure. I think I remember these lamp posts. These kind of street posts are Bolivia. I remember hearing that once. I gotta send Bolivia. Wait, wait, got to. There's too many of those little flags. Yes, we were in La Paz as well. So that was good. That was good. I think those particular street posts are specific to Bolivia, so I think I heard that like a while, a while ago, but I only clicked right at the end there. Next round, okay, we got these kind of uh, houses again. 
Is that a flag? No, it's just Royal Arctic. Kronos. We're right beside. Oh, what does that say? Welcome to. I, th I thought I saw a flag as well there. Souvenir. Tourist. Contour. I thought I saw a flag. That's not a flag, no. But let me click back here and see if I see it. No. Gosh, this place looks very north. Quacarto. Where is this? Tamat. Is this, I, I believe, the Faroe Islands? Counts as part of Denmark. I think it might be the Faroe Islands. I'm not too sure, but these lovely, lovely houses screamed at me that it's there. I'm trying to look at this uh, car. Oh, I, I think it might be the Faroe Islands. That's what I'm thinking so far. I've had that location a couple times playing GeoGuessr. I'm going to go back down to the the water, see if I can pick up any more clues. Going this way. Royal Arctic. Yeah, for sure. For sure. This has to be like super northern, like there. It's a sunny day for there as well. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. If it's not there, I'm very sorry. Okay, it did count as Denmark because it was technically Greenland. I'm very lucky, very lucky with that, because Denmark owns or the Faroe Islands and Greenland is classified as part of uh, Denmark. I actually didn't realize that there is the, the city that we were in or the town, but that's really interesting. I don't think I've got that in GeoGuessr before, so that's pretty cool. Maybe for some of you that was like an easy one, and I'm sorry for that matter. Alrighty, for double digits, for double digits, double digits, we are in Monaco Boat Service. Well, I'm not going to just instantly send it, but where's Monaco, Monaco, Monaco? That would make me believe that this is Monaco, and we are right beside the pier by the looks of things. You got the mountains in the north, those ones there and there. So I think, yeah, this has got to just be Monaco. Um, so I think I'm quite lucky. Yeah, you got the sort of Monaco street signs. What have we got here? Uh, AG boats. Boats. Monaco. Yeah, it, I'm just going to send it. Yeah, November, November, October. That's like French, so Monaco. Nice. And then there is the uh, uh, point that we were at when we started, where the boats were. So we're into double digits, baby. Ten countries down. Fifteen to go, hopefully. <coughs> Excuse me. Next round. Oh boy, this don't look good. Okay, let's take in as much as we can. The sun is south. So surprisingly, we are in the northern hemisphere. The R174. The R174. So countries, I'm thinking this is are all kind of like in the Americas. I don't see this being European for some reason. So if I can find out more clues about what country this could potentially be. What's down there? Oh, I want to get to the end of this road. I have to. There's a big sign. I have to. Sorry, this. I know it's a little bit blurry right now and stuff, but we have to get to this big blue sign. R174, and it was like orange of the sign, wasn't it? But this should really sell it. Whatever this is down here. 
Okay. Oh no, a row. Kodiang. I've no idea what language that is. I've no idea. R4. What flag is that? That's like, I think we're around. Maybe one of these countries. Oh no, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Where did I say the sun was again? In the south. It's not Mexico, right? No. It's not Cuba. Oh no, 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 no. It's not Dominican Republic. It's not Puerto Rico. I gotta just click though. I'm gonna click Venezuela. No, I don't know. I literally don't know. What? I was never gonna get that. I'm so sorry. Malaysia. I didn't even think that it was Asia. For some reason, I thought it was in the Americas. See, if I'd gone to look at, like, this side of the world, I would have seen the R's. If I'd zoomed in. That's disappointing. That's disappointing, so... We end our streak on 10. But, you know, disappointing. But we will give it another go. Um, let's take a look at our summary there. Some good countries we managed to get. And honestly, I say we just go straight into another one. I want to beat it. I want to beat it. <laughs> so, this one here. I've learned that these things here on the poles mean that it's Taiwan. I learned that from a, a live stream. Shout out to uh, one of my mods. Go Mercury, you told me that was Taiwan. But I probably would have guessed that it was Taiwan anyways. Uh, oh, well, let me click Taiwan. I guess I have to click Japan. Oh yeah, well, it's Japan anyways. But I think, you know, regardless, SD class is part of the same kind of thing on GeoGuessr that I would have got it anyways. On to the next one. I maybe also should have noticed the low camera footage again. Remember I said Japan and Switzerland have that low camera footage. Well, that was one of it there. I just didn't notice. Okay, so we have Cyrillic. Kappa Bio. Or something like that. I don't know if I can just assume that this is Russia right away. I don't see any blue stripes on the plates. There's some more cars coming up though, so... No, if anything, that one seems to have the uh, Ukraine flag on it. And so does that one. So because we're only one country and I'm just going to assume that it is. And it is, but it's very close to Russia. Very, very, very close. Of course, my thoughts are with the Ukrainians right now. Um, we'll move on to the next country. And we're in the mountains again. Down by this little... in the background. Okay, so let's take a look. Sun is... Sun's like, again, kind of in line with us. I would have thought it was kind of north. Could this be like, maybe like, Chile or Peru? The, the water is kind of off to our west. So that could make sense, being one of those countries. Look at the color of the water. Oh my goodness. Right. Can I get a big fat clue, please? Which way am I heading? I'm heading south right now. I need to remember that. In case I return to the start. You can do a little thing where you like set a checkpoint. So if you want to go back to the checkpoint instead of the start. Uh, it'll do that. I don't think we really need to do that. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, camping. Bayo. Can I go in there? No, I can't. Oh, Velcom in. Okay, 
so that's not where I'm thinking. Valkman's like, what is this like Norway again? Or is it like, I think currently I'm thinking Norway after seeing Valkman. Um, oh, I'm just, there's no, nothing on the plates though. That's just confusing me. I'm gonna go Norway. just happened to me. I selected jelly and I changed <coughs> because I saw welcome in, which I don't even think is Norwegian. I think it's just kind of used about that area though. Um, wow, that's really disappointing. Real disappointing. Because I was going to go it. But hey, we were only on two. We can't can't get too disappointed about that. What do we go for this next one? This kind of looks like probably France. Uh, oh wait, no, we have like yellow number plates all of a sudden. But I thought this was like French. Ah, it's Luxembourg. I forgot they do it too. We have this guy waving to us. Shout out to the guy at Lux. So we have Luxembourg. On to the next one. I mean, this just got to be America, right? It's just got to be. We'll go up to here a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we've even got the state outline. What state is that? Is it Montana? No, it doesn't look like it. It kind of does. Kind of looks like Montana. I will find out. We'll find out. No, it was. That wasn't the Alabama outline. Right. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. An easy start, though. And what do we have over here? Can't make anything out. See, this is where GeoGuessr is annoying for country streaks. Like, you get placed in a little path like this. How am I meant to decipher where on earth I am? I know, like, some bros probably can, but for someone that doesn't play this game all too much, it's very tricky. Observation screen, and then we again have some kind of, is it Japanese? Is this low cam footage? <laughs> I think it is, I'm gonna go Japan. I think we're like North Japan actually. What? Singapore? I thought I saw Japanese. Ah, okay. Right. Let's go again, I apologize. I'm having a bit of a struggle right now. Uh, driving on the left, very flat, looks like South Africa, I'm going to go for it, what would you be like, Lesotho though, Botswana, do, do, do. okay, where are we here, where are we here, very flat, houses look quite big, it is European, Bromberhaven, Bromberhaven, not too sure. Um, I think this is Denmark, but I can't be so sure. <laughs> it's funny when you catch someone looking at the camera, look at this little like horn on top of the, the truck. I just need a bigger clue because I'm not very good at this, clearly. Can I see the side of this? DK, Denmark. Did I say Denmark? I think I did, so I'm happy with that. Next one here. This is an interesting one. 
the architecture is very peculiar. I'm gonna go down here. Um, I think that's a stop sign, but I don't know if it's gonna be in English or not, of course. Can I see what's on this bin? No, of course not. Uh, the architecture to me kind of screams like Greece. Um, or like Malta or something down there, if you know what I mean. That's at least far as I can go. So I have to go back to the start. Did I go that way? I think I have to go this way this time. Kind of head down the hill. It's like definitely European for the time being. I'm gonna select Greece. But I'm scared it's gonna be Malta. If it's Malta, I'm very sorry. We have a, a red stop sign. Ah, we have Greek. We have Greek. Nice. So I'm gonna go for Greece. That's correct. It's on a little island. One of the many islands. And on to the next one. We have yellow number plates. And this looks like a little bit of a bustling city. Um, I forget all the list of countries that do yellow number plates. So I'm gonna need a bit more of a clue. Oh, I can nearly make out what that is. Okay, so we have some English on that as well, but I think this is like, um, potentially Israel. I think potentially Israel, I'm not entirely too sure though. For the time being, I'm going to select that. Let's look up here this time. just don't really know, do I? At least I'll learn after doing this. You know, Israel has, or whatever country has, yellow license plates. Do, do, do. Some of you might be sat there screaming at me, telling me it's not. Some of you might be sat there saying, it's fine, I don't keep it as Israel. It is, it is. <laughs> um... I'm just gonna go for it. As you know, we still got 20 seconds. Let's not waste it. It's not letting me move though. But let's not waste it. I'm looking around for flags. Looking around for billboards. Everything that I could possibly use. Oh, come on. Bus, bus, bus. I'm gonna just go for it. Honestly. Okay, it is. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. And we've learned now Israel has yellow license plates. Next one. Do, do, do. Okay. Al Basul or Al Basuli. Wow, I'm not really picking up much, am I? keep thinking I see flags. Yeah, I can't really tell what language this is at all. It's really interesting, this place. Wait, was that a flag? No, I don't think so. I mean, hopefully not. Uh, if it is, then that'd be disappointing. I missed it. What is that? Is that like a dog? Um... Okay, the houses, everything seems to be leading me to thinking this is, like, South America. Oh, come on, there's got to be something on here. Municipal, I think, is a Spanish word. Santa. Mm. Escuela, it's, yeah, it's Spanish, for sure. 
like which Spanish country? Well, I think that's Ecuador, right? Let me confirm. Pretty sure. Yep, Ecuador. Okay, I don't actually get Ecuador too often, so that's why I was a, a little concerned. Alrighty, a nice snowy round up next. Canada. Uh, never mind, we have a UK plate. Not a UK, an EU plate. Uh, where did UK come from? Definitely not EU. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go down the road. If I could get some language or some more signage. North. Well, that just doesn't sound like Scandinavian at all. Nor Delhi. That almost sounds like Italian, but I know this isn't Italian. Um, take me up the hill. Let me see what's at the top. Okay, we got 50 seconds to go this way. Current thoughts are... I don't make me say Sweden, it's not Sweden. Finland, maybe. Maybe Finland. Nor Delhi. Like, what on earth? I've never heard of anything like that. To be Scandinavian. Oh, what does that say? That's, it's just gonna say Nor Delhi, isn't it? Bloody Nardelli, right? What would Nardelli be? Finish. <laughs> Thank goodness. <coughs> Thank goodness. Where is Nardelli? I don't even see it. <sighs> oh gosh, okay, right. Let's just jump in when we were actually close to the border uh, of Sweden. So my first thought of Sweden, not too bad. <laughs> um, this is probably just going to be a good old American round. Um, Orland Park. Don't know where that is, but American flag. We have to just click America. It was in Chicago. Nice. Love Chicago. Next round, it's European. This kind of looks like a round we had earlier. What was that again? It was like Greece, was it not? But I don't think this is Greece. I think this is more like Poland or something. Okay, what language is that? I don't really know. That says Slavi. Mm. I can definitely find some better language, I think. And by better, I mean more readable, more legible. Um, oh no, no, no. Is it like Hungary, maybe? I'm gonna select Hungary, it's what I'm thinking. Uh, but I don't really know for sure what country. Could I get like, somebody just stick a flag in their garden? Strelis. Hungary's not a bad show. Wait, that has a website domain. No, it doesn't. I thought it was, I thought I had one, but it doesn't. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't have long on this one. Hotel Crystal. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What do we got? Place names. Oh, we have a bit of Slavic. Not Slavic. Um, Cyrillic. Oh, and now we're right, right into a big town. Right at the end. I swear to gosh. Oh, please, please. That we're gonna be wrong. 
Serbia. No. I should have known because there was a bit of English, well not a bit of English, but a bit of Cyrillic and a bit of non-Cyrillic. So I should have known Serbia is probably safer, but it's near Hungary at least. So I'll take that as like a not bad kind of round. <laughs> um, now, I would call it there for country streaks, but I feel like I have to just embarrass myself once with a US state streak. This is going to be horrific. There is a reason my best score is three. There is a reason. That is because I'm awful. Awful, awful, awful. Like, if I had to do this without moving, it's literally just a shot in the dark. Let's give it another go. Um, see, without moving, I'm useless. I know, like, you can tell which state it is by particular license plates as well, because they have their own license plates per state. But I don't know them, and I probably never will. So if I had to guess, I'd probably say, like, one of the Carolinas. It's Washington. Yep. So there's a reason I'm not doing state streaks. So I hope you enjoyed country streaks nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next little game. Okay, everybody. So continuing on with the sort of different side of GeoGuessr, rather than playing maps, we're going to play or delve into a very different side. We're not doing single player anymore. We're going to be doing some multiplayer, 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 multiplayer. And yes, different t-shirt, different recording session. Um, it's been a while since the last one, however, so I may be a little bit out of practice. But to begin this little segment here, we are going to be playing a particular multiplayer game called Battle Royale. We are going to try and do a bit of everything here. We're going to do some Battle Royale countries, Battle Royale distance, and maybe end up with a bit of jewels. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what are these? Unless you've played GeoGuessr before. Battle Royale countries is, a sin is essentially country streaks, exactly what you just watched, except we go up against other people in the world. And we have to try and uh, knock people out of our lobby by guessing the country that we're in before them. So everyone else gets the same location. And each round, one person, apart from the first round, will get knocked out. Until all the way down to there's two players remaining. And then whoever wins or guesses the country first out of those two will win. Hopefully that all makes sense. There's also power-ups. I believe there's a power-up where you get to look at two different possibilities. I think it could be, it's like a 50-50 power-up. And uh, there might be another one, I can't quite remember. But the best thing for me to do is just to go into it and you guys to try and understand. So we'll go into a lobby. Hopefully we can get one so there's only one power-up. We also get three lives, I forgot to mention, because... Um, every time there's a new country, you're allowed to guess three different countries before you, if you do get it wrong, get knocked out. So suppose it's the United Kingdom and you guess France and it's wrong. You guess Ireland and that's wrong. But then you guess the United Kingdom, then that's fine, you're still through. And it is actually quite late at night at the time of me recording this video, so... Fingers crossed I can get a lobby. I'll be back when I get one. Okay, so I've got myself a lobby. We are joining one up here. And there is a good bunch of us in here. So let's take a look at where we could be. So we're driving on the right. You can see we have a minute and a half timer to work out where we are. I'm feeling like this is potentially European, potentially Scandinavian with these kind of red buildings. Um, let's take a look. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, let's
let's take a stab in the dark and say that this is maybe Finland. And it is, so we have guessed correctly. Um, as we guess as well, we will be able to see what other people guess. Uh, we can also spectate when we're done. Uh, you can see by the flags that pop up, these are incorrect guesses that have been made. We can see who guessed them. So let's say we hadn't had got Finland now, and I was really struggling. I would be able to see, oh, someone's gone Denmark, Norway, Sweden. Maybe it is Scandinavian, because those are good guesses. Um, and you know, sometimes you can be a bit sneaky and try and um, catch people off guard and throw them off with something random and then people will see it and think it's that. I like to do that. It's a little funny strategy. So, so far, two people have been knocked out. Still two people to try and guess this country. Someone has got it. So it looks like seven of us are moving through to the next round, but only six can make it. Okay, where are we here? This is very interesting. Looks very southern. Hemisphere, <laughs> if you want to give that as a word. Um, could we be in Asia or South America? I'm thinking I'm leaning more toward, towards South America by what the. Oh, wait, is that a flag? Is that a flag? No, it's just a little phone box. Well, I think I'm going to go for Brazil because of the type of soil. And that is correct. It is kind of northern Brazil in the state of... Um, is that Mariano? I'm not actually too sure. Couldn't make it out because the little flag was in the way. We've got this funny guy up here doing some roofing work. Um, there's been some interesting guesses. We've had the Dominican Republic of Congo, which I don't even think has Street View. Algeria, uh, Bolivia, and then what country is that again? Is that Gabon? I can't actually remember. Um, but Peter has gone for, well, Peter, looks like you're on the wrong lines because it's not African. Very interesting location though. But uh, let's go on into the next round. Four of us remaining, but only three can go through. Well, if this doesn't look very American, then I don't know what to go with. But I was definitely thinking America off the bat. But now I'm seeing what looks to be like Spanish or Italian, maybe. Is this Italian? like Italian. Yeah, it is. I love the Italian language, that's why I kind of narrowed it down a bit. But we're top three, which is good. We have a sign on our right. Sign on our right. Um, is that like German, maybe? It kind of looks German. I feel like that's quite a risky guess. But I'll wait and lock it in. It could be Germany. It's not. Maybe it's a German-speaking country. It could be something like Switzerland or Austria. In fact, I wouldn't be opposed guessing Austria. Let's see what we've got over here. Ooh, the 13 in red. Let's take a look. Did they do red? Road numbers doesn't look like it. Could it be Luxembourg or France? It could be Luxembourg. That is something I was thinking. Someone went for Switzerland. I'm going to go Luxembourg. And it was, I think they do, yellow street signs, which I probably should have picked up on. And we're going into the finals here. I think this is just America. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I didn't look about properly. Poland, Poland, Poland. My guess is locked in. Did my opponent go Poland? They did not. So I won. They actually used a 50-50 as well, which is very interesting. I don't know if you guys made that out there. But my head on that last one, why did I go America? I should have just looked about a bit further and noticed. I'm unlocking a bunch of things here. The 
we had this big sign and that was Polish language and we saw a website the name.pl which I think this is actually Warsaw we're in as well um, oh no it's not it's not Warsaw it's um, Kozalin <coughs> interesting well a good 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 start uh, a first place win in my first game as well so we'll jump into another one here see how we get on get, 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 get on and uh, oh we have this opponent with this really interesting badge maybe they are quite the opponent and uh, this could be a tricky tricky game um, so let's see a small lobby this time small lobby small lobby small lobby small, small lobbies could be good but also could be bad <laughs> um, I don't know if it gives you a higher chance of winning maybe uh, but there's only five of us here so let's see how we fare against these opponents we haven't used our lifeline at all in the last one which was interesting and this is also a very interesting location to start with i'm feeling like maybe south africa where's the sun oh the sun is sort of southern actually interesting um we've had some guesses greece chile and argentina okay people have got it it's probably south america then is this colombia what the sun is in the south or it's kind of in line with us i'm gonna go ecuador is it peru it was spain man that was terrible that was really really terrible and i'm knocked down to the silver division i was kind of thrown off by the other guesses <laughs> my own plan coming and backhanding me <laughs> i'm gonna actually have a little drink it's quite hot tonight so as we load in this lobby i'll have a sip of my water probably should have used my lifeline there now that i think about it you know i was just chatting about it as well so let's see um is this low cam is this potentially japan uh, sometimes it's hard for me to actually remember if it is low cam or not let's see what have we got woodlands avenue someone's guessed china is that australia new zealand no i think this is potentially it's english speaking driving on the left oh it's um it's gonna be uh malaysia right no english speaking green signs am i just being a fool i think i am just being a fool let's go and look at this sign we've got 30 seconds because we can't get knocked out on the first round uh okay so it is down here somewhere has indonesia been guessed it has Singapore, it's gonna be Singapore. Uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> of course it is. I mean, you can see how I got it confused with um, <coughs> Malaysia then. I always forget about Singapore because it's so small. <laughs> it always passes my mind. Okay, next round, it's very nice and snowy in here. Wow, we have these massive, massive mountains. sun it's south though so could we potentially be oh wait what was that i saw some language it looks like japanese to me so let's go japan and it is it's very north japan uh, i didn't know the mountains up there were actually that big let's take another look at 
at some of them. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's like something out of a Bob Ross painting, isn't it? Um, and again, over there. Dang, that is pretty cool. Got some good skiing up there, probably. Can't forget to use my lifeline. Okay, so is one of these two players going to get it? We're going on to the next round here. Very sunny here. Can we just pick up any clues off the get-go? English speaking, is this Australia? I think it is, yeah. We're driving on the left as well. So that means uh, Brisbane in this case. Uh, but usually, you know, if you're driving on the left, you're probably in Australia. I just have to quickly confirm just to make sure. Brisbane is a pretty cool place. Um, I've not been personally, <laughs> which is probably making me sound a bit uh, weird saying that it's a nice place. But having seen pictures of it and things like that, I would like to go anywhere on the eastern coast of Australia. I'd love to go. Oh wait, we have some language now, and that looks Cyrillic to me, so now that I know that, we also have some translated languages, so I'm thinking maybe Serbia. No. So, remaining, I've kind of got Russia, Bulgaria, Montenegro. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 50-50. Bulgaria. Okay, so at least I played it safe. I was gonna go Bulgaria, but it was good that I played it safe, I guess. Let's see. Where are we here? I see an EU license plate, so we're in Europe. Very funky looking place, though. We have some language here again. This kind of looks Cyrillic. Um, Someone went for what is that? Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. I'm just gonna throw out a bold Ukraine. No, in that case, I'm leaning towards Bulgaria again. But it's this kind of X or whatever symbol that is with the line through it. Okay, it's not Bulgaria. Could it be Serbia? Or Russia. Someone's going to have to go for Russia. I guess I will. Okay, we have one guess left. I'm thinking either Serbia or Kyrgyzstan. No, do Kyrgyzstan. Do EU license plates. I can't remember. I don't think they do. So surely the logical answer would be to go Serbia. I'm waiting till the last second to see what other people do. I'm gonna go Serbia. It was right. Oh my goodness. Thank the Lord. Whew. Okay, okay. Well, this, I don't even need to think twice about this. This is just straight up the UK. I mean, I didn't even consider the possibility it could be Ireland. But, you know, I don't need to look at this twice to know this is the UK. Um, wait, what's happened? I won. 
I didn't even realize that there was two of us remaining. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm gonna have to watch that back on the tape because I don't remember there being two of us left. That's really weird. So it was this round here, which was Serbia, that knocked everyone out. It knocked out three people. And I was considering going... <clears throat> uh, I was considering going Kyrgyzstan. Lucky I didn't. And then round six, what did my opponent guess? My opponent guessed Australia. Well, I guess that was lucky that I'm from the UK to recognize that pretty quickly. All right, we'll do one more. We've had two wins and one pretty embarrassing loss uh, on the Spain round. So we'll do one more game and then we'll jump into some Battle Royale distance. Unless I can't get a lobby, then I'll go straight into some distance. Okay, okay, we've uh, we got a lobby. Oh. I hope I am. Um, my throat. Hope well, I managed to press record in time there. Um, so there's only four of us in this one and we are driving on the right. We have this van. Cafe Toscana. I think Toscana is an Italian thing. But that's, yeah, that's just throwing me off really. Um, this does look kind of Scandinavian like the uh, Finland guest that we have seen in the guesses. Ooh, that language though. I'm gonna go for Norway. No, okay. I may have to use my 50-50. Czech Republic or Germany? Dang. It's Germany, isn't it? Yeah, the umlaut didn't cross my mind that it could be Germany, but it was worth the risk because I only had one guess remaining, so you don't get Germany too often, so that's interesting. We all made it through though at the end of the day, so I want to go this way, see what this is on the right. Making guesses. Kaiwera Road. Someone said GG. Mm. Kaiwera Road. Looks English speaking. Which side of the road are we driving on, though? I would assume the right. Kaiwera sounds peculiar. I can't really make out the sun. I think it's up there, which is in the north. Hmm. Could this be New Zealand? Oh, I <laughs> dang it. I was going to get there. I was going to get there. You saw me zooming in to click New Zealand. Just wasn't fast enough. Well, that is Battle Royale Countries. I'll take a 50% win rate. Um, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. Let's move into some Battle Royale Distance. So what is Battle Royale Distance? Well, Battle Royale Distance is basically normal geogazer in the world, but the closer to the location will advance to the next round, so the furthest away will get knocked out. And the way it works is kind of peculiar because you get to see once you've made your guess of how close you think it is, you get to see the person above you and the person below you on the leaderboard, how much closer or further away they are to the location. So say you're like 5,000 miles away, like very far, but then the person above you is, you know, 5,000 miles away, you'll know you're very far away. Um, and it kind of makes sense when you play it, but you get a certain amount of guesses per round again, and if you save your guesses, they will continue on to future rounds, so it's kind of best to use as few guesses as possible. And, uh, well, we're getting a 
nice big bunch of people going into this first game. You also only get a minute um, this time, but it is world, so let's focus up a little bit. This looks like Europe. Um, I'm trying to make out that looks kind of it's a Turkish. This is potentially Turkish. Could kind of make out the language. I'm feeling like making a little turkey. Yes. You can see a, a number plate there. Oh, actually, did that say PL? Is it Poland? Just in case, I'm going to go kind of south Poland. Let's go and Krakow in case it is somewhere near Turkey. So I make my guess. You can see I've jumped up to here in the leaderboard. The person above me is two miles closer. And the person below me is 3.3 miles further away. I have two guesses left to make if I want to do. But I'm going to save them and carry them on to the next round. Where it was actually to over here. So we go on into the next round. Everyone going through except from this person and here gosh some of these rounds I'm really not good at um, okay so I'm thinking potentially Asia um, some interesting statues like what on earth is that is this maybe like wait do we have flags we have language now is that um, is that Thai? Is that Thai? I think it might be Thai. In which case, I'm going to play it safe and kind of go central Thailand. Um, which I think is kind of, you know, a safe guess because it could be like anywhere. Um, people below me are 100 miles away. Some people above me 69 miles away. It could be that we're more south. Um, we made it through it was actually Cambodia so I got the wrong country but the right region and I was close enough to make it through so yeah we had some pretty far guesses still luckily making it through um, and this kind of looks like that round from that country streaks one um, but that was Germany wasn't it this looks more to be Sweden or something like that. Um, I can't remember what yellow lines means. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Sweden and I'm gonna go kind of here. Okay, so I'm not very close. I'm 163 miles further away from the second closest person. So what I could do is put a safe guess here. This person is 3,000 miles away though. Uh, that would have been a very good guess if I had blocked it there. Um, it was Finland. Someone guessed Canada. No wonder they got knocked out. <laughs> okay. Where are we here? Okay, so this looks like Africa. Um, and I feel like, uh, I don't know if it's South Africa or potentially like Kenya. I know in one of the countries there's like a vehicle that follows you. Can't remember what that is. I'm trying to make out some language. The D220. Now can I do a quick scan to see if Kenya does D roads? They do, so it's probably Kenya. And I think safe would be kind of going here, you know, not super close to Nairobi, but also kind of in between some other big cities just in case. No one else has actually guessed yet. Well, someone else has, but there's 7,000. Oh, wow, these people are miles away. What continent did they go? It was South Africa. Interesting. Interesting, but nobody else went Africa, which is blows my mind. Okay, where are we here? This looks quite luxurious. I'd actually kind of like to be up there. Uh, is it too late for me to get up there? Um, can I get up there? Looks like I can. I'd like to see some language on these buildings. Are you? 
Russia. It's very sunny. I haven't actually been able to see any European license plates. So is this like central Russia? I think to be safe, maybe hedging like here would be good. And I am at the top, but of course one other person, two other people have guessed. Okay, so I'm very far away, so it could easily be that side of Russia, and it was. I was thinking it was because of the plates. I didn't see any kind of European... I didn't know it was that sunny, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, that side of Russia. Uh, so let's take a look. Okay, so we are in Wales, I believe. Um, and we have the N78. Uh, no, Wales. Northern Ireland, sorry. Oh, no, it is Wales. The N78. Wait, hang on. No, that is Irish. N78. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to find it. N73. I doubt they sort of go up in numbers, do they? What was the name of the places again? Athy or Kilkenny? I feel like I've heard of Kilkenny. I'm going to guess. Okay. So it was over there. Someone found Kilkenny. Interesting. I was the only one that went to Ireland along with this other person. I always get like Irish and Welsh mixed up sometimes, which is probably not so great. Especially when I'm in a bit of a rush. 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 So we're driving on the right here. Uh, again, I feel like this is Africa. sun kind of in the north so that lightens up oh we have a sign are we going to get some English on this sign whoops uh, no so this is Middle Eastern I've not looked at a license plate which I probably should have done this is Susie Zuzu I don't know um, in that case I feel like it's probably safe just to go Israel, but it could also potentially be Tunisia. I'm going to go Israel first, near Jerusalem. Okay, I'm very far away. I was knocked out. It was... What? It was Thailand. Oh, that was the finals as well. Is there a way I can see that again? Is there a way I can see that round? I don't think so, but that was nuts. Wow. Could have sworn I saw, like, Arabic or something like that. Or maybe my mind just <laughs> blanked for a minute there, but we'll go again. Um, I'll take a second place, though. I'm not as good at the distance one than I am at the countries one, so we'll probably just do two or three of these before we wrap up with some jewels, which again, I haven't really played too much of, but I do like jewels, so stay tuned for some jewels. A little bit of a small lobby here, I think I'm recognizing some of these people from previous games. Let's see where we are here. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Are those ducks? What bird is that? I, know, I mean, I probably shouldn't be paying attention to the bird and more. Where are we? <coughs> Sun is in the north. I'm inclined to go south of and I'm feeling very southern, like Chile, south of Chile, or Uruguay, Argentina maybe, I'm trying to come 
see what this is, but it looks pretty useless. There is something over there. I think I'm going to make a guess before it's too late. I'm just going to slap it there. Um, well, there's still... Okay, I'm very far away. Very far away. Do, 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 do. Where was it? Midway at all. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> well, okay, now this is low cam, I believe. Just kidding, it's not. This is the UK. <laughs> See, sometimes I can't quite tell. It's that kind of car I saw at the beginning, but this is the UK. Um, where? I don't know. It looks like England, so I'll slap it like York. Can I find out? Do I have enough time? Wonder if other people will know. Hang on a minute. This is France. I couldn't get there in time. <sighs> That's embarrassing. That really was embarrassing. I saw UK license plates, though I swore. Last minute I realized it was France, but I couldn't again I couldn't get there quick enough. That was a really peculiar run. Sorry, I was embarrassing myself there, everybody. But well, I'll give this one more go. We'll give this another go. See if I can get top three again. That would be optimal. That would be optimal. Alright. Where are we? Oh, I love how that just fell between there and back here. Or maybe it didn't. But either way, that looks Spanish. This looks to be South America. America. Do we have a flag? No. Or is it Mexico? Is this Mexico? I feel like it could be Mexico, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Mexico. And I'm going to go right about here. Okay, I'm very far away, so it's not Mexico. I think I'm going to give another guess down here. I'm closer, but I'm still the furthest away, so let's go up north. Okay, I just made it, but unfortunately I'm getting knocked out. It was Colombia. I didn't see anything that I should know to make it Colombia. I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe there was something obvious I missed. In which case, I am very, very sorry. I probably should have looked at that design a bit better, or maybe the surroundings. I just kind of jumped the gun and thought it was Mexico. In fact, Mexico was a little bit closer than Argentina. Um, but we'll do one more. We'll do one more since I did terrible. And uh, I want to do at least okay in my last distance a Battle Royale. You can clearly see I'm getting worse as I'm going on, so I think I'll call it here for the night after this and come back another night to play some jewels. Jewels, 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 jewels. Alrighty, let's wake myself up. Come on, Dido. You can do this. <sighs> okay. Focus, focus, focus. I want to get a win. Interesting license plate. It's not America. Uh, can we jump over here? Jump over here. Or is it America? It looks very interesting. Give me some language, damn it. Now we've got Spanish. Uh, well, actually, that kind of looks like a particular flag, if you ask.
ask me um, and I think that along with that looks like the Colombian flag the deadly Colombia that we had in the last game 200 miles maybe we're closer here no we're still further right I think yeah that's where I've got to call it for distance it was Argentina gosh I could have sworn that was a Colombian flag though I think it's just throwing me off <laughs> disappointing but you know we got a second and the two wins from earlier make up for that so yeah I hope you enjoyed those two little battle royale features let me know which battle royale feature you prefer and maybe I'll play some more of that in a future video so this last sort of mini game little online multiplayer battle that I'm gonna be playing in this video is uh, Jules and uh, Jules is one of my favorite multiplayer features on GeoGuessr in which well as you can imagine Jules you go head to head against somebody else you both start off with I think it's 6,000 energy and you get the same round and whoever gets closer to the location, the difference in points will get taken off the person who was further away. So say I was very close and I got 5,000 points and my opponent was somewhat close but got 4,000 points. 5,000 subtract 4,000, the difference is 1,000. My opponent would lose 1,000 from their energy. And as the game goes on, you get multipliers you can regen energies in particular rounds it's again another one that you kind of have to just watch and one other thing i forgot to mention is there is no time limit when one player locks in that's when a time limit starts and i think it's like 15 or 20 seconds or something like that uh, but yeah let's just jump into it hopefully i get a few wins who knows um, it is a new recording session again. I feel like I've said that a hundred times and if I look a bit weird it's because I've just come out the shower. So anyways, here we go. Jules, 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 Jules. So we're going up against this guy from Greece. Let's see where we are in this first round. So looks like we can only go one way. Um, see what it says on the side of this building. Well, that looks like Shek. Could it be Shek Republic? Shek Republic. Shek Republic. I could lock it in, you know, very quickly. I feel like my opponent's probably seen the same clue. Um, can we maybe find... Does that confirm Shek Republic.cz? Yep, so now we only have 15 seconds to lock in where we think we are. I have no clue, so I'm just going to zoom in on, let's go just outside Prague to be safe. And as you can see, it was not near Prague, but we were indeed closer to the location, so the difference in points, not much, only 100, got taken off my opponent, so that was a win that round. But we've not won yet, still got 5,800 to diminish of my opponent. As we go into round two, we have a little sign on the right. Um, Cambodian, I'm just going to instantly go in. Hope my opponent hasn't seen it. Let's go kind of here, I think. Again, I'm kind of playing a bit safe, going near a few big cities. Could have been better to go near the capital. Capital, capital, capital. Which country is it again that has like arguably two capitals? I swear it's like a... Southeast Asian. Oh my goodness. Look at that guess from me. That is nuts. That is incredible. Wow, I'm very happy with that guess. Sadly, I didn't get too many points taken off. Uh, okay, so I believe we are in... Is this Belgium or Luxembourg? The hills kind of lead me to believe it's Luxembourg. Maybe it is, I'm not too sure. I'm seeing like a little bit of a combination of French and German. Mm, let's 
see what this says. It looks like we're in a hospital. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. That does not look French or German at all. That kind of looks maybe Danish or Finnish. I'm gonna go Danish, but I'm not too sure. Mm, I'm kind of changing my mind now. I think it might be Finnish. And I think I've messed up. I don't know my Scandinavian languages too well, as you can clearly tell. It was actually Swedish. So that's embarrassed me even more. It's not either of those two. Um, and oh my goodness, look at this round. What on earth? This is the straightest road I have ever seen. And it's so deserted. Luckily, I know a little bit about the GeoGuessr meta. And I believe this particular GeoGuessr car is found in Mongolia. Now, this is very deserted. There's some hills, but it's quite flat in general. Uh, and we're on a very straight road. So let's just find like a random pretty straight road and just go for it. Um, again, I could be almost anywhere in Mongolia. It's a very big country and maybe my opponent knows it's Mongolia as well. They do. They luckily guessed the closer side and knocked some points off us getting them back in it, but we're now 1.5 times damage, and it looks as though we are in um, a Cyrillic-speaking country, I'm thinking maybe Ukraine, um, maybe not, it's looking more, oh wait, can we see something on this, no, no website domains or anything, they're my favourite things to find. Um, can we confirm a license plate? Not really. It's looking more Bulgarian or Russian now, the more I move. Um, license plate's got a little bit of red on it. And I think red on the license plate. Does that mean it's Macedonia? Or does that mean it's um, Kyrgyzstan? I cannot remember. I think it means it's Kyrgyzstan, but it could be Macedonia. I'm not entirely too sure. It's like a 50-50 for me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna change my mind and go Macedonia, and this is probably gonna come back to bite me, isn't it? I'm so annoyed at myself. So annoyed. I was gonna... In fact, I think I was offering over Bishek as well, which is so frustrating. So frustrating. I need to learn my languages, it seems. All right, where are we here? Where are we here? Got a little bit of English, but also a little bit of, again, <laughs> language not great. Could it be? Could it be? Potentially, I think, when we played this the other day, any obvious signs or anything. Um, the amount of English is leading me to believe that it could be Cambodia. But that wasn't a flag, right? That was just, yeah, things in the trees. I always see like little things and I'm like, ah, it's a flag. Uh, another possibility I thought was India because I know India has recently been added to the game, but I'm not really too sure if this is Indian. I don't think so, so I'll go with Cambodia. Sri Lanka. We are closer. We are closer still, so. Back in the EU, it seems. Very nice looking place. Uh, let's get moving. Um, Sorry if you can hear a car outside making some noises. Looks a bit English, but also not English really. Um, what language is that? Verstand, I feel like I should know this and it's frustrating me. Uh, let's get a better clue. clue, clue, clue. We've got a Belgium flag. This is 
Belgium though. I just don't. I just don't. 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 Um. They still don't Belgium do like yellow license plates as well, I believe. We'll keep on going. My opponent hasn't guessed at all, so that's still good news that we both, I mean, it's embarrassing for us both because this is clearly a major city as well in whatever country we're in. Man, there's a lot of English. A lot of English. Okay, here we go. This has got to be good. Um, what language is that? Is it Swedish? It's not, right? It's not Swedish. Oh, come on, give me a big clue. I know I may have missed big clues, in which case I'm very sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. No, I don't want to go to this SO. <laughs> uh, here we go, here we go. Oh, gosh, I've not heard of these places. My opponent's guest. I'm just going to zoom in. Do, 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 do. Let's go Czech Republic and I'll go Prague. It was Belgium and my opponent did very well. And that's me. I, I just didn't think it was Belgium. I could have sworn they did yellow plates. The giant Belgium flag really should have given it away. Why would it be? Why would it be um, Czech Republic if there's a Belgian flag? Gosh, that was such a bad game, right? <clears throat> we'll play again since that was awful. Very sorry about that. We're playing this person from Canada. We'll say good luck or I'll give him a little wave. Um, looks like we're in the EU again. Hopefully we can do better this time. Uh, I recognize these signs. I think this is Germany. I mean, the language kind of leads towards that. Um, no, Austria. .ad. Okay, this looks like a big city, so let's just zoom in. Austria, and I'll gamble that it's Vienna, but it might not be. Okay, it was Vienna. <laughs> My opponent went Germany, which is fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, that did pop into my mind, so. Okay, driving on the left looks like New Zealand. Do we just go for it? Do I just send New Zealand? I'm like, oh, it could be, it could be um, Australia, though. Australia. I feel like it might be Australia. Let's go under the bridge. What does it say here? Low bridge ahead. I'm gonna go Australia. And we'll go... Feels like quite north. Maybe up here somewhere. I guess we'll find out. I'm just kind of praying that it's not New Zealand. Praying that it's not New Zealand. Praying that it's not New Zealand. It's not New Zealand. It's not New Zealand. It's not New Zealand. Okay. Hey, at least we got the right country, so we are losing some points. My opponent went Sydney, which is a lot closer to the exact location. But I'll take a little bit. I'll take a little bit there. Again, we've got these kind of red buildings. Uh, I mean, I say red, kind of like a brownie red. My opponent's guest. I'll go Finland, and I feel like it's quite south. So I'm going to go near Tampier. Okay, it was more north, and it was actually Sweden. Uh, so that's some points taken off me. Not too many, though. So we'll, we'll take it. And are we driving on the left here? Yeah, this is an interesting one. 
think this is Africa. Oh no, maybe not. Let's see, what does this say? Hotel. Okay, so it's... Oh, gosh. Seeing that... Oh, dot .my, we've got English, we've got Malaysia. I think I need to go pretty quick on this, and I'm feeling like I'm gonna go about there, kind of hedge it in between Ivo and Kuala Lumpur. And my opponent didn't realize it was Malaysia, and that was actually a very good guess from me. So we knocked off all the points there um, and got the win. We're going to go again, though. I absolutely love jewels. And as you can imagine, it's easier to get a lobby. <laughs> you also get a little skill rating. Mine is 611 because I, I mean, I say it's my favorite mode. But, you know, I prefer to watch GeoGuessr than play it. So watching people play duels is always something I find very interesting. I like to learn as well. I like to learn about the tactics and things. Even though a lot of it just goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> There's too many tactics with GeoGuessr, all the metas and things to learn. And Well, this is going to be your grain, isn't it? Um, let's go... Let's, do I just go maybe in between? Let's go like here, I guess, because I'm not entirely too sure if it is Kiev. So I think I'll kind of, again, hedge it sort of in the middle. I should have just done it. In fact, at one point, I don't know if you saw my mouse, I sort of hovered over there, which is exactly where I was going to click. So, anyways, on to the next round. I believe this is left hand drive. Yep. So we're going to be in Australia. Australia. Again. It looks a lot like the last round. Aberdeen Fish Shop. Wait a minute, what? I mean, this does not look like Aberdeen. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's just do the same thing. Kind of go near Sydney. Maybe um, I'm going in between Aberdeen and uh, Sydney and Newcastle there. It was New Zealand, and I wonder if there's a place near there called Aberdeen. <laughs> My opponent went the United States, so they're giving a little GG. It's not game over yet, but not game over yet. And I think we had a round like this a long time ago at the start of the game, the start of the video, and I believe, was it not? Like, was it not like Greenland or something crazy like that? That would be such a bold guess, though, because this could easily be like really north Norway. But because it's just too risky for me to guess Greenland or something like that just now. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, let's go to the Faroe Islands. It was Greenland. I should have risked it. I should have risked it. Risked it. Risked it. Risked. 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 We didn't lose too many, though. What on earth is this round? This is toaster quality. <laughs> Sometimes you can see the year on the ground. But not this case. Um. Is this maybe like Australia? Let's look at the sun. The sun is in the north. Australia works. Um, if it was, I would be inclined to go kind of like down near maybe Adelaide. Maybe like there. I'm not going to send it just yet though because there's always something in my mind that says, is it Australia? Or is it South Africa? And I know you're probably thinking they're com two completely different countries. But the GeoGuessr just always confuses me which one it is. And I don't see much for a long time, so I'm going to just guess. Okay, it was Australia. And I probably should have known it was Perth. Because it's a lot more dry over that side. Noted. Noted for 
future. No, it didn't. No, this is interesting. A red Google car. That's definitely a meta. Sadly, not one that I know of. So, for people that play this game frequently, I'm very sorry. I don't know. Where is this? English speaking. Speed limit. That's like an American speed limit sign, is it not? Is this maybe like some sort of American island? Or, hang on. I know. No, this, this looks like it's Africa. Could this be Madagascar? Because I know that recently got added to the game. Could this be Madagascar? I don't know if this is like the Madagascar car, but the mountains and things are telling me that it could be, potentially. Um, if not, you know, like, it's not a Y. So you've got all these like random places that are in GeoGuessr, but I'm just gonna guess. Madagascar, that was a Burgess. It's the British Virgin Islands. I'll remember that though. I will remember that. And ah, we've got another one of these random Google cars places that definitely has a meta, but I just can't put it together. I believe there's one that's like um, Bermuda, I believe. One of them is like Bermuda. I think that's the black car, though. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't even go any further. Gotta go back this way. So, like, right now, I'm thinking Bermuda, because I know that's one. So, it's the only thing I can think of. And, oh, it's back to red. It's back to red. Is that just the same? British Virgin Islands, we can do it, and if it's not, at least it's not, well I mean it is, but at least it's not too far from Bermuda, and yes, we got it, oh it was the US Virgin Islands, well, there you go everybody, and another victory, two victories in a row to kind of make up from my lack of knowledge <laughs> in the uh, first game still annoyed about that Belgium. I'm sorry. Please don't shout at me in the comments. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Because I'm feeling good tonight. I'm feeling good. But I do want to save one little fun thing for the end of the video. So, we'll see how things go. Um, so we have a big truck here. European plate. Anything on the Nothing of use. Lots of hills. Lots and lots of hills. Quite green. Probably like central. Um, central European. It could be like Slovenia. Slovakia. We have a sign coming up. Okay, maybe not. Um, Becca. I mean, I'm not going to find Becca, but I'm feeling like it could be Serbia. And I'm thinking like northern Serbia. But that could be risky in case it's Bulgaria. So maybe just like central Serbia could be safe. Where are the hills in Serbia? Yeah, kind of over here, so I'll go for it. Okay, that's... I should have clicked more east. Because I did say the hills are over here, and then I just didn't move my guess at all. <laughs> bit silly, bit silly, but I need to just go with my gut, don't I? Alrighty, is this the states? We have yellow plates, and I know I've probably mentioned this in the video before, but you can tell what state it is sometimes from the plate. I can't, whoops, I didn't mean to set that checkpoint, I can't because I've not learned it, but <laughs> yellow plates is quite interesting, I don't think I've ever seen that, 
go, by the way? Am I just going in circles? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, though, because I know th this is the way I have to go. Which way? This way? If I was a car trying to get to the main road, where would I go? This way. Doesn't look American enough to me though. It's giving me weird vibes. That doesn't look an American sign. Is it Australia? Yes, and it was actually in Sydney as well. So that was a fantastic guess for myself because it knocked off a lot of points. Lucky I looked about for a bit because. Um, a lot of the time there, I was just assuming it was America. Now this is an interesting round. Kind of looks Turkish from the language. Uh, oh, does that mean kebab? <laughs> I would love a kebab right now. Uh, you're so, we actually have multiple languages there. Um, but I'm feeling that this is Turkey. It suits the uh, sort of environment as well. By that, I mean like the structure of the buildings and how hot and dry it is. So let's go Turkey, but I'm feeling it's more towards like this side of Turkey. And I was right, it is more kind of central-ish than it was. I was thinking Istanbul, but because of how hot and sort of dry it looked and, and the building structures. Um, okay, where are we here? Can we read what's on the bin? That would be so cool. I can't quite. It's probably best just to look for buildings and vans and things. There's a big building over there. Uh, we have an Aldi. Or, sorry, not an Aldi, I guess. Whatever it was in that language. Discount. Okay, so it's it's European, Central European, and that looks like it says dot a t. Is it Austria? Yes. Okay. Again, it looks like it could just be um, Vienna again. So I won't take any risks, and I'll just send Vienna. Actually. I'm regretting that. I think it could be more south. No, okay. Interesting. Ah, it's Lance. I think it's pronounced Lance. I think I even saw a sign that said Lance. <laughs> so that's annoying. That's annoying. But a flawless express victory <laughs> to finish up the jewels section of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed some of them because they were so very fun. So if you did enjoy, let me know if you'd like to see some more jewels in a video. video, 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 video. Okay, so this last little bit of the video is just going to be a bit of fun. Um, in fact, I don't even know how long the video is right now, so who knows if there's a bit before this or not. But... Um, this last little bit is just a little bit of fun because it is something that I've seen lots of, you know, pro geoguessers do and, well, they make it look really easy and I'm sure I am probably going to embarrass myself because of how crazy this mode is. It is known as geoguessers hardest game mode. So take that in mind, <laughs> the hardest game mode I'm going to do terribly. It is simply a classic map, but it is one that is made, and we have played it tonight, I believe. I cannot see it, though, so I'm just going to type it in. It is a community world. However, it's with a twist. Now, we may have played this tonight, but 
months instead. The twist is, it is, you're not allowed to move. You're not allowed to, I, actually I think you are allowed to pan and zoom. But, you know, it's probably best that you don't because that'll waste time. And the reason I say wasting time is because, well, the time limit is 10 seconds. <laughs> I know, I know, 10 seconds, no moving, a community world. You basically spawn in, look about, submit your answer. So this is probably going to go really, really bad, but screw it. We're here to have a bit of fun. Let's see, within, I don't know, like 15, 10, 15 minutes, what is the highest score I can get? Here we go, round number, or game number one. This Loki looks like Norway or Scotland. I am genuinely confused, so I think I'm gonna just go there and I didn't even see where it was. I accidentally submitted. Um, <laughs> this is probably like there. I don't know. It keeps submitting twice and in straight into the next round. I don't know why. Again, this just looks Scandinavian. Okay, this one was in Croatia. Finally, though, it lets me take a look at how bad I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, those first two ones just skipped by, but that was awful. Next round, more flat this time. Looks like Central European. I'm kind of just going to send south again. I'll just go Slovenia. It was Australia. I got one point. <laughs> Last but not least, we are on a train. I remember hearing that means you're in Portugal, but we're definitely not in Portugal. Nope, we're in Brazil. So, 44 points. A terrible, terrible game. 7,779. Oh boy. Well, we'll keep that in mind as we go on to another one and see if we can beat it. This Loki looks like the UK, so I'm going to go like maybe here. Okay, it was Ireland. Not awful. Could have been better. I maybe could have gone for Ireland as well. So, nearly 4,000 points. We're already nearly at half what we got last time. Next one. Okay, maybe like Thailand or something like that. I feel like it's very south. So let's go down here. Yes, okay, so I changed my mind to Malaysia last second. But it was more north. So interesting, but I'll still take it. On to the next one. Very flat. This could be that kind of Australia, Perth round that we had earlier. Or not. It's going to be Spain. Two points. And, oh, interesting, 46. European, probably. Um, let's go, like, oh, I didn't get to send it in time. I was not going to get many points anyways. I need to get good at doing the times. Okay, very green, very green. I don't know. It's probably not Europe. Mexico. Especially after that good start, which is unfortunate. So let's go again. <laughs> I want to get over 10,000. Argentina, Argentina. I don't know where I submitted, but I submitted. <laughs> Cordoba, not bad. I saw the dot AR and clutched it. So this is America. And, or it might be Canada. I'll send Canada. It is Canada, it was Toronto. I don't know why I went Winnipeg, but I uh, just got instinct, panic with the time, you know. Round three, very flat, driving on the right, probably European. Let's go Croatia, there. Poland, not bad though, 3,000. Round four, I think. What on earth is this? Okay, again. I don't know, Laos maybe. Mexico again. 
I suck in Mexico apparently this video and then last round I think this is Sweden let's go near Stockholm it is and it was more south so a much better game there we got into the 10,000s we got 13,000 well super special ASMR gaming video with three of over three hours of GeoGuessr which is one of my most played games on the channel fun fact and also one of the sort of fan favorites I guess you can say I always get requests to play this not only in videos like these but also on stream so if you want to see me play more of this then let me know maybe i'll play it on my twitch which is linked in the description we always have a blast over there so definitely drop by and uh, i really hope you all have enjoyed me playing the different game modes that geogazer has to offer of course there is absolutely loads of modes that rhymes that it has but i just picked some of the most popular and some of my favorite ones to play in tonight's video so if you managed to watch all three hours of this i really appreciate it that means so so much to me and um, regardless if you guys have enjoyed i'd really appreciate a thumbs up in this video because well as you've seen it's taken a long long time to make this uh multiple recording sessions and um, well i've had so much fun because geoguessr is one of my favorite games so let me know if you want to see more GeoGuessr in the comments. Subscribe if you're not already. And do let me know if you want to see more ASMR gaming too. Because you guys have been killing it on the support with those videos lately. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you sleep.